Now, before going into the deep knowledge of uh, this basic electrical drawing subject, we have to get the knowledge of general physics. We have studied in the 12th as well as the basic knowledge of the semiconductors to get the deep knowledge of this particular subject. In this theory course, the objective of this is nothing but understanding of DC components, understanding of active and passive components, as well as we can get the knowledge of the node mesh branch loop for a different circuit network, as well as the knowledge of the different type of circuits. Yes, now we'll start the first with the, the introduction of the DC circuits. But before going to the deep knowledge about the, this DC circuit, first we have to know because already we heard about the AC and DC. So we first know what is the basic difference between the AC and the DC. In terms of the, let's suppose current. So what is the difference between the AC current and DC current? Let's, uh, for example, uh, tell me which type of current you are getting in your home. Obvious, it is the AC current. It's having the frequency. And uh, DC current you are getting from uh, just like a battery, right? So it is don't have the any frequency. So uh, it is the basic difference between the AC and DC. Let first start with that DC circuits. Circuit means it, you can say also it is nothing but the, you can say it is a network. Network is what electrical network means. If we introduce the, some electrical component in a circuit is called the electrical network. So it is nothing but the, you can say the combination of the different type of components which connected in a such a way that we'll get the output if we are providing the input. It is called the electrical network or electrical circuit. Another form of network is called, you can say the complex. There is a simple, another form is the complex. Complex means it is having the more number of components, electrical components just like AC and DC. Uh, this type of network can be or circuit can be solved by some theorems and laws just like Kirchhoff law or theorems. Right, or you can say also it uses the superposition theorem. So now it's a third type. You can say definition is the electric circuit. Electrical circuit, uh, or you can say the electric network is the more or less same. Network or circuit means what? If uh, its current is uh, passing from one point and then complete their path and then come to the end to the initial point without any break, then it is called the closed loop path or electric circuit. Right now, student, here you can see one basic uh, electrical network or electric circuit. Here you can see it is the uh, one supply that is called the battery. Uh, from this, you can or this circuit can getting the power or current right in terms of voltage. First component is using the L that is called the inductor, second element is called as a it is using as a bulb that's the, just like a register and third component is used as a capacitor so this is you can see the combination of electric network if it is uh, battery is on then uh, one current is passing from inductor register and capacitor and then complete their path up to this point it is start from this point and then complete this point so we can see it is a closed loop or closed circuit right closed network until unless it is we will get the output until unless it is the not is the open loop if suppose there is a break point is there so current will not move from this point to this point and complete their part it, it, it obvious not complete their path so it is uh, say the open loop circuit now another type of circuits uh, is divided into two parts that is a one is a unilateral and another is a bilateral that is name given uni means one by means two let's have the difference between the unilateral and bilateral unilateral means a circuit uh, if uh, the circuit that uh, uh, allows the flow of current in one direction only or you can say the property of circuit changes with the direction of change of the supply voltage or current so uh, if any component that are introduced in a circuit is uh, uh, allowed to flow the current in one direction only it is called the unilateral circuit so best example is you, you can see the diode rectifier because diode is a component is having a property it is having the work in the either forward bias or reverse bias only we will see in the literal fourth unit this uh, applic uh, working 
but the brief idea about that diode is a component that works in the forward bias and reverse bias especially in the forward bias because it allows the flow in the current in the forward bias only so forward bias means it will allow the current in the one direction only so such type of component used in the circuit is called the unilateral circuit and bilateral circuit if the components allow the flow of current in the both direction then it such type of circuit introduce the bilateral circuit the transmission line is the best example for the bilateral circuit here you can see the photos of uh, the unilateral and the bilateral circuit there's a unilateral circuit already i told you diode is the best example it will allow the flow of current in one direction only it is uh, in the such type of symbol over there one triangle shows as the p type semiconductor material and the bar is showing the n type semiconductor material so it is allow the flow of current in the forward bias and it will flow the current in the direction clockwise direction in the reverse bias it will not allow to flow of current in the back side and this is the figure that is given the transmission line circuit it is acts as a bilateral circuit now next uh, differentiation between the active and passive circuits active and passive circuits is depend upon the which circuit having the electromotive force right and which is not if any circuit having electromotive force is called the active circuit and any circuit having not any emf source is called the passive circuit so basic difference between the active circuit and the passive circuit is including the emf or not and then it is depend upon the which type of component that are using either active or passive circuit in active component is what these components which require external source for their operation is called the active components just like diode and transistor now here you can see some uh, photos of the active components and passive components uh, i already told you that active components comes in category of the diode transistor scr silicon color rectifier and the passive components are resistor inductor and capacitor I told you the definition of the active components. That component which needs the external source for its operation. But in passive components are those components which does not need any external source for the operation, just like a resistor, capacitor, and inductors. In last slide I showed you the photos of that. Now let's have some idea about uh, its uh, network that having the node branch. and all other this in next slide we will see what is the definition of the node node is a point or junction where two or more elements are attached together like means node is a junction where two or more than two components are attached together component means the register capacitor inductor and other components also now what is the branch a branch is a in between the two junctions is called the branch now what is the loop the definition of loop is nothing but that it is nothing but the closed path in circuit when more than two mess can be occurred is a called loop right and what is the mess mess is a closed loop within contains no other loop is called the mess let's have an example that we understood the node branch loop and mess suppose there is a circuit diagram one resistance r1 one resistance r2 one resistance r3 one resistance r4 one resistance r5 and the sixth resistance r6 are connected in to form a network right one power supply that is called the voltage now suppose there is a question how many uh, there are nodes branch loops and the mess in the circuit then we have to calculate that in such a manner nodes means any component that connected in such a way that let's like one and two nodes 
third is also not, four is also not, five is also not, six is also not. So total number of nodes for this particular circuit is the six that I have written there. And branches means one, two, two, one branch, two, two, three is another branch, three to four is another branch, four to five is another branch, five to six is another branch, six to one is another branch, and another branch is two to five. So total one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Means total branch is seven. Loop is what? There is a one loop, and there is another loop, and then one is the complete loop. So total loop is nothing but three. But mesh is what? There is a one mesh, and there is a another mesh. So in this fashion, we have to calculate the number of nodes, branch, loops, and mesh. So in this all over slides, we have understood the what is node, mesh, loop, there what is the active component, what is the passive component, what is the unilateral, what is the bilateral, this about the idea about the disease components in the circuit. Thank you very much.